guys. All right, we just got home from a big grocery haul from Walmart and our local Deerbergs, which has more like specialty kind of stuff. So let's hop right in and let me show you everything that we picked up. So let's start down here. I've got a couple Daya pizzas. I love these meatless meat lover ones and they were on sale at Deerberg, so I had to pick those up. And since I picked up myself a pizza, I had to get my husband one as well. I've been really wanting some black grapes lately. My Aldi doesn't carry them, so my options are either green or red and I've just kind of been wanting black. So I got those from Deerberg's too. Bananas, because bananas are always a staple. I wanted to try some miso paste. This was the only one they had and I've just been seeing it in a lot of recipes lately, so I thought I would give it a go. I got a couple of the limited edition um, Game of Thrones Oreos, because why not? A couple of vegan cheeses. These are just cheddar, and I usually get Follow Your Heart, but this was the last one, so I got a backup of Daya. Some raw cashews from the bulk section. Calvin wanted some little donuts, so he got some white powdered donuts. I, I feel like I've tried this before, but I can't remember if it was good or not. So frozen corn, sweet potatoes, always have to have sweet potatoes. A big bag of frozen veggies. This has like zucchini and squash and stuff in there. So I thought I would try that out. I almost always, I always get the big broccoli um, from this brand, but I thought we would try a mixture of stuff this time. Couple avocados, some of the Gardein fish fillets. Those are actually pretty decent. Cherries, frozen cherries, frozen blueberries. I didn't realize this bag was this big. I ordered the Walmart, Walmart pickup and I kinda don't really pay attention to the ounces and stuff sometimes, so that's a lot of blueberries. Some wheat sandwich bread, just regular old sandwich bread. A couple of stalks of celery. These, I'm gonna make a hummus. We're having some people over tomorrow and I was gonna make some hummus and so I wanted to put this in there um, for like dipping. Tortillas. Romaine lettuce, always gotta have lettuce. Toaster strudels, my husband and Calvin one of those. I got a couple packages of tofu because I always like to have tofu around. My husband wanted some fruity pebbles, so we got some of that. I got some unsweetened regular soy milk. I thought I got vanilla, but apparently I did not. <laughs> Coconut milk was sounding pretty good, so I ordered some of that. Calvin likes chocolate milk, so he always gets this nice protein chocolate milk. Got some regular white vinegar, you know, for every once in a while we'll use this in some kind of recipes. Not that much. I mostly use it for like cleaning and stuff. I got a red cabbage because I was just watching, or was I reading, um, Dr. Greger's um, How Not to Die book, and he was talking about how red cabbage was good, so I thought I would just throw it in my salads every once in a while. Got some ground flax. I usually just get regular flax seeds and then just grind it up myself, but I thought I would get the already ground stuff. Some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I use that in cooking. Of course, this is a grocery haul. Of course, there's gonna be cooking stuff. <laughs> I've got some parsley, I was running kind of low. Some dill, I love dill lately, so I got some more of that. Some raspberries, just cause I wanted something little that the boys could snack on. And a couple tomato soups for my husband. He likes those with our grilled cheeses. Baby carrots for the hummus as well that I'm gonna make. Pasta sauce, uh, we usually don't buy this brand, but I thought it sounded good. Fire roasted tomato and garlic, so picked it up. And lastly, I have a few like nut butters. I've been watching Healthy Crazy Cool lately and Miles is always snacking on nut butters for like taste tests. And so he's inspired me to pick up a few different ones that I normally don't get. So we've just got some regular old Smucker's natural creamy peanut butter, just peanuts and salt. Some Maranatha, Marin, I hope that's how you say it, Maranatha almond butter creamy, and this is almonds, sugar, palm oil, and salt. And then this one sounded fun. It's the White Chocolatey Wonderful Peanut Butter and Company, and it has like vanilla and stuff in there, so I thought we would try that one out too. So yeah, that's it for our grocery haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up and we will talk to you guys next time. 
Bye.